In this video, we're going to take a look at working out the area of some compound shapes. So if I just define to you what a compound shape is, and this is my definition of, of a compound shape, it's a shape made up of other shapes. quickest way for me to demonstrate what I mean by that is, is to just draw you a little example. So if we've got something that looks like this, imagining that they're all perfectly straight lines, because I'm not the best drawer. We've got a little L shape just there. Now that's not particularly got a name, it's just a, it's, it falls under the bracket of compound shapes because it's a shape made up of other shapes. So if we were to draw a little line, maybe just there, we can see that we've got some more regular shapes here now. We've got one just there, which is like a square or a rectangle, and we've got a rectangle just there. Okay. Now the point in defining what compound shapes are at this point is, if you are given a bit of an odd shape, like this L shape, but you're able to split it into sh other shapes like squares and rectangles, you're able to use squares and rectangles quite a bit easier. And that's the method that we're going to use in working out the area of a compound shape. So let's have a go at working out the area of a compound shape. Let's draw an L shape, seeing as though I've just used that in the example. And let's say this L shape had dimensions of 4 metres by 4 metres. And let's say this bit that's missing was 2 metres, and this bit is 2 metres. So we have got a couple of dimensions missing, but we can put them in there because 4 metres take that 2 metres leaves you with. That would measure 2 metres, and also 4 metres take away that two meters, that'll leave you with two meters too. Now because we can't really do much, there, there isn't necessarily a formula to work out the area of, of an L shape, we're going to split this shape up into other shapes that we can use. So let's just draw a line just there. So we've got a shape just here, let's call that shape one, which will be a little square, and we've got second shape just here, which is a rectangle. Now we know how to work out the area of a square and or a rectangle. We multiply the length of one side by the length of another side. So what we're going to do, we're going to treat these two shapes individually. So we're going to focus on shape one first and work out the area of shape one. So the area of shape one is simply the length of one side of it. So it's this going to be this one. So that's two meters multiplied by the length of the other side, which is also 2 metres. And that's going to give us 2 times 2 is 4 metre squared. There we go. So that's the area of that shape just there. We can write that in there if you like. And let's focus on the second shape now. So the area of shape 2 yeah, is going to be the length of one side so we've got that one just there, that's a full side, and then the length of the other side just there, that's a full side. So you can see that we're actually enclosing this section just here. So it's going to be 2 times 4. So 2 times 4 is going to give you 8 metre square. There we go. So the area of that bit is 4 metre square, the area of that bit is 8 metre square. So you can see, to get the total area of that L shape, we're going to add those two together. So we're going to do 4 plus 8 will give us 12 metre squared in total. And that there is our answer. So that's how you work out the area of a compound shape. You've got to split it up into other shapes that you can use, squares and rectangles, you can work out those areas separately and then you can add them together. So do one more example while we're on this. Let's do, let's pretend we've got a wall. 
and this wall we want to work out the area of the wall because we're going to do some wallpapering but there's maybe there's a, a, a window in it square window so let's keep it um, straightforward with the numbers let's say we've got a five meter wall and it's five meters across as well so it's a square wall and then inside there we've got a little square that is let's say that's one meter by one meter okay and we want to work out the area of the wall that's going to need wallpaper on it so we're going to work out this area here now there isn't a formula to work out the area of a wall with a window missing without doing it in a couple of stages so taking the two different shapes that make up this odd shape we've got a, a big square and we've got a little square as well so what we've got to do is we've got to work out first of all the area of the big the whole wall the wall in total so that's going to be shape one and to work out the area of shape one we're going to do five times five which is going to give us 25 meter squares okay so the area of shape two then let's take this as being shape two just here so the area of shape two is going to be one times one which is one meter square and to work out the area of the the red part the bit of the wall that we actually need to wallpaper we're going to have the area of the shape one so the total square which is going to be 25 and we need to take away the area of the window just there which is one meter squared so that's going to give us 24 meter squared in total and that's how we work out the area of that compound shape so if we get any odd shapes rectangles with bits missing or squares with bits missing uh, what you've got to do is you've just got to split it into two different shapes that you can work with squares or rectangles and then you either add areas of those together or you can take them away from one another to get the area of the compound shape that you need